uh, in this video I will explain how to unlock any iPhone with any modem firmware um, so that way you can use any carrier SIM card provided that the iPhone in question is an AT&T model iPhone with no contract on the iPhone itself. Uh, so the fo you'll follow the following procedure. Uh, the first thing you're going to do is like and subscribe to my video. Uh, secondly, of course, you um, need to make sure that phone is not under contract. It could be an iPhone uh, th 3G, uh, 3GS, iPhone 4, iPhone 4S. It'll work on any of them, provided it's an AT&T iPhone. Um, and you need, then you need to find your IME number uh, to have it handy when you call up customer service. You do that by uh, going to the settings application, then general, about, and then scroll down and you'll find the number. And then you will call the AT&T International support phone number that's available 24-7. You call them up, follow the prompt for the uh, unlocking your iPhone, then choose zero for a customer rep and wait till you have a live customer rep. Uh, then you want to tell them that you want to unlock your AT&T iPhone. They will ask you for the IME number that you grabbed earlier and uh, or they may ask you for personal information too like your last four digits of your social uh, but anyway once you tell them that you, that you want to unlock your device and you give them the IME number of the devices I unlocked both my iPhone 3GS and my iPhone 4 at the same time I gave them information for both of them and they unlocked both of them um, to finalize the unlock procedure you have to back up and restore the device in iTunes, which will put the latest version of whatever iOS is available, which is currently 5.1.1 as of this video. Um, that will remove any jailbreak that's on your device. So to re-jailbreak your device, you will be able to follow my video, which there will be a link in the description, on doing an untethered jailbreak of iOS 5.1.1 using Absinthe 2.0.4. You could also watch the unlocking video of 5.1.1 using Red Snow. 9.14 v2. Uh, the absence uh, jailbreak is faster and easier to do than r the Red Snow Unlock. But anyway, this carrier unlock is permanent. Uh, you don't have to have a jailbreak in order for it to work. Uh, you can back up and restore your device at your leisure. You can uh, give it to a new owner. It will remain unlocked permanently. So never again have to worry about it. I uh, hope you. Uh, find this video helpful and um, as you see oh, by the way this is what happens after you restore in iTunes you see congratulations your iPhone has been unlocked so um, that's all there is to it please like and subscribe